entering safe area. Welcome to this intel brief on the base of operations, your headquarters during your stay in Washington DC. I'm touring the base of operations to provide you with a view of everything there is to see, do and upgrade. The interactive and important parts of the tour are highlighted in the timestamps if you want to see a specific part of the base of operations. In short, I'm showing you the quartermaster, the trader, stashes, crafting station, clan coordinator, PvP matchmaker, project officer, dark zone officer, division coordinator, and collectibles I find along the way. If you're ready, suit up, you're in the White House after all. Let's start at the southern gate of the White House. Our base of operations. It's a large complex, but I'll show you all that is available at the moment. Let's move through the courtyard to the entrance hall. Entering the White House, the first thing you will notice is the quartermaster on your left, Coop Dennison. He provides you with your skills, perks, and gives an overview of the staff roster. The skills in the beta are limited, but you're able to choose from the Pulse, Turret, Hive, Chem Launcher, Firefly, Seeker Mind, Drone, and Shield. You can unlock these skills using the skill unlock tokens and shade deck. Selecting a skill will give you an overview of the skill, describing it, listing its stats, slots and mods and so on. On the right you can see the turret has 4 slots. The first 3 can house skill upgrades that improve the skill. An example of this is 5 drones for the seeker mine. The 4th FX slot allows for a cosmetic upgrade. In-depth skill intel I will cover in a later intel review. Each skill has multiple mods, as you can see on screen, each with different effect. For example, the turret can have four mods, three of which are shown here. It can have the assault, incinerator, artillery and sniper mod, each one usable for a different situation. Perks are fairly similar this time around. Similarly, unlocked with shade tech, perks unlock you extra weapons, skills and other bonuses, and this time around include weapon mods. These aren't lootable items anymore, but you can unlock them here. Thirdly, you can check the staff roster to see the progression for the base of operations. Each of the 8 staff members represents an upgrade for the base of operations. Coop is the quartermaster for the skills. Inaya is unlocked after helping the theater settlement, more on that in a minute. Being an engineer, she adds a crafting station. Senate is the dark zone officer, meaning you can upgrade your dark zone perks there, which are separate from the other perks. The rest of the staff is not known with the exception of Charles Douglas and Grace Larson. Charles provides a firing range and Grace will add a clan server room. On the right of the entrance hall there is a trader where you can buy, sell and even buy back gear and weapons. Not too much new here except for the buy back feature. Thirdly you can enter your stash which has multiple options this time around. Opening it up, you can have up to 150 slots of storage and it's organized in different sections for the primary weapons, sidearms and the 6 gear pieces and mods. Besides your inventory, it also allows you to check your mailbox, which allows you to check messages and contaminated loot you extract from the dark zone. Eye tests and dental checkups are now available in the clinic. To book an appointment, After a left turn at the entrance hall, we arrive at the crafting station. The bench is categorized fairly similarly to your stash and will house all the blueprints you collect. Crafting costs you e-credits and requires, of course, materials that can be found throughout the world, like polycarbonates, electronics and protective fabric.
Throughout the White House, like here in the Oval Office, you can find collectibles, giving you insight into what happened here in DC. Carlos, thank you for taking my call. I understand you've got your hands full too. No, no, I understand. Not the time for pleasantries. No, we're no closer to finding a cure. Look, if we had anything, we'd be sharing it. This is bigger than borders. But these rumors of a broad-spectrum antiviral are just that. No, rumors. Let's talk about this proposal of yours to shut down the border crossings in El Paso. I know you've got a lot of people headed south from there right now that you can't afford to take care of. Believe me, we don't want to outsource our... Downstairs in the East Wing, I'll be able to access the clan server room. You should be able to create a clan using a name and a clan tag and choose a logo for it. It seems obvious that you can invite and receive invites here as well. Sadly, we can't access this during the beta. Outside, under the helicopter pad, we meet whoever this may be. If you're looking to play PvP in the conflict mode, domination and team deathmatch, you go here. You can see your stats and you can quickly matchmake. Other things you can access are projects, bounties and matchmaking for different activities in the world. These are also available at other locations where I'll get into the specific features. Over at the matchmaking station you can similarly to what we just saw group up for random activities like main missions, bounties, the open world, dark zone and answer calls for fellow agents. Just around the corner is a feature unseen before called the project officer. Projects are challenges you complete for settlements that usually involve donating weapons, gear and materials that you don't need of course. Upon completion you can retrieve blueprints at the settlements that you'll be able to use at the crafting station. This seems pretty awesome because it means you need to help people survive, that immerses at least me more in the game, and in return you get blueprints, which are very valuable. Hey agent, we got a project that's ready to be completed, whenever you have the time. 
Agent, stop by when you can. There's a project ready to be completed. On the other side of the road, there is another trader. It works similarly to the one in the entrance hall, but it has different gear and weapons. So this is one to keep an eye on for the vendor resets. I appreciate the trade. And this must be the lady that gets sent to the dark zone every time. She's the one that gets to clear our contaminated loot. Lucky her. Agent in need of backup. Upstairs we can find another project's officer similarly to the one outside. Entering the control room, we can meet Sinek, the Dark Zone officer. After completing the Dark Zone recon, you can look through and look your Dark Zone perks. Are you ready to start exploring the Dark Zones? And when we go back towards the stairs, over here on the left you can find the division coordinator. Manny Ortega is the guy who replaces Feilau in Washington DC. You usually only can go to him for a cutscene at the start of end of a mission. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. 
A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this... villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um... that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating out of the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. The base of operations allows you to craft, unlock, and match your skills, upgrade your gear and weapons, complete projects, manage your clan, and matchmake for other activities, both in the open world and in conflict. Together with the settlements, this forms your headquarters, from where you min-max your agent. The introduction to the settlements I'll save for the next intel brief, since this video has been long enough already. So I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the tour, or didn't, I would like to ask you to like or dislike whatever you think is suited. Share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and some communication and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in intel briefings with summarized information from my videos. To end the video I have a question for you. What assets would you like to see in addition to the ones that are already in place in the base of operations? I'm really interested in seeing the shooting range in clan server room and what they will look like. As the first I will use for weapons guides and the second to create a community for us agents. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.